American Union. I don't think he's read the SPP declassified documents. I think he's so delusional he wouldn't look at him if you tried to show him because he thinks he controls reality. If he just denies this is happening, that supposedly does it. But go ahead. Well, they'll always be nitwits like that. What can you do, right? Yeah, but, anyway. but they run things. They're the minions that the establishment uses to keep this fraud going. But go ahead. Well, that's why they're so afraid of the Internet media now, right? As uh, Because we're taking over from them uh, quite a bit. Their uh, credibility is severely damaged. Um, anyways, as I was saying before the break, um, yeah, tom uh, tomorrow there's a big uh, luncheon headed by Madeleine Albright, which is entitled The Americas and the New World Order, which could very well be the uh, discussion of the North American Union that, uh, that the reporter was telling us about yesterday was happening on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, there the, the closing lunch and the final uh, event of uh, of the whole thing is titled the, the Economic Crisis and the Role of Central Banks. How far can they go? Which sounds pretty boring at first, but if you look at the subtitle, it's called NASA and the Economic Recovery: The Required Joint Action Between North American and Central Banks. And Stay there. Let's break it down when we get back. Long segment coming up. That was a short segment. Absolutely. When you read the SPP documents from 2006, declassified in 2007, in Endgame, we have a bibliography, whatistheendgame.com, <coughs> has all those documents linked, time-coded for the film. When you link through to all of that, it's just incredible. And I'll explain this when we get back. Sam McGreer is our down, guest joining us from Montreal, down, Canada. Up there at a, a establishment, global government meeting, kind of a Bilderberg group steering meeting is what these really are. When you read the SPP documents, hundreds and hundreds of pages, I've read them all. And then we got screenshots of the key parts and put it in um, Endgame Blueprint for Global Enslavement, now released almost two years ago. That film's more important now than then because so much of what we talked about has now happened. I talk about how the banks are going to implode things by design a lot more because I'm reading their documents and they say in there... We're going to use economic crises, biological crises, biological attack crises, environmental crises, global warming, and climate change. And we're going to use the threat of terror. Through these crises, we will have our new world order emerge. And they also talk about we can't let the public know that we're setting this up. This has got to be secret. Secrecy is key. That's in the first pages. It's unbelievable. You can read them at Judicial Watch. Dot org. Uh, we've got the documents saved at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Or as I say, what is the endgame.com? So important people get that DVD and uh, get it out to everybody. I mean, that is the most important film I've made. The Obama deception is the most viral, the one spreading the fastest for people that don't know what's going on. This shows on the left and right's controlled, how it's a controlled paradigm, how the offshore banks operate, how we never go past our own governments to see the outside criminal alien force that's doing this. You know, alien to our system, our Constitution, our Bill of Rights. That's good. But then the second film you give somebody is in-game blueprint for global enslavement. You say, now you want to understand what they, you know, now you understand who the globalists are from their own admissions. Now understand what their total goals are and how they operate. Uh, going back to uh, Sam Labrere. Sam, uh, continue. You were going over the conference and, and what they're talking about and the role of central banks. How far can they go? And how far? They've hijacked our governments completely. They're sucking the entire GDP in seven months out of Canada and out of uh, Europe and out of the U.S. They're all in the same line, same people running it. Uh, Zolik, the head of the World Bank, big neocons, openly announcing that they may have to have martial law. There's going to be rioting, that they're taking over, that the banks will need total power over everything. This is world government by a private financial elite. It's very simple. Corporations so big, they have hostile corporate takeovers of nation states. And then they levy taxes through that government, conduiting it to themselves, and they use government regulators to shut down their competition. Continue with this key meeting titled New World Order, Day One, Adapting to New World Order Conference, Day One. Please continue with the points you were making. Well, I was just saying that the uh, the last um, luncheon is going to be on Thursday at noon. It's entitled The Economic Crisis and the Role of Central Banks. How far can they go? But then the subtitle says NASA and the economic recovery, the required joint action between North American central banks. And you have the governor of the Central Bank of Mexico and the governor of the Central Bank of Canada speaking. 
along with Alenda Mahmed, who is the daughter of our former Prime Minister, Jean Chrétien, and the wife of uh, Paul or André de Marais, I can't remember which one, but one of the sons of the big Bilderberg family here in uh, Montreal. And so, I mean, the title, the Required Joint Action Between North America and Central Banks. In other words, North America and Central Banks are going to have to start working together much, much more closely, almost, uh, as you could say, united. Um, so, I mean, this could be the first step towards a, uh, a united North American Union at Central Bank. Continue. Um, yeah, and tomorrow, like I said, the... Um, uh, by uh, Madeleine Albright to the Americas and the New World Order is definitely one uh, we should uh, try and get text of or, or try and find out what's discussed because uh, I, I think it's most definitely talking about the FTP and the North American Union. Um, today in uh, in the media, a lot of the uh, the big um, sound bites I've been hearing from uh, Dominic Strauss-Kahn, who's the head of the IMF, uh, his big sound bite from yesterday saying, uh, doesn't exist anything in the world except uh, a full financial system, and therefore any sort of national uh, regulation uh, doesn't make any sense. In other words, what he's saying is we need a global system of financial regulation. That's the only thing that makes sense. That was That's right. You can't have yesterday. you can't have the nations running themselves. International bodies have to do it. That's already happening. This is just the coming out of it. And, oh, there's a financial crisis we engineered on paper. They admitted they did, but that's never discussed. We're now going to take full control over your life. Here's that article uh, here, the Obama deception movie, Moon Battery at its finest. And here's the author's comments. He goes by R. Caddy. You don't believe a handful of politically connected wealthy individuals meeting together a few times a year to discover, to discover world domination, do you, to discuss it? Oh, right, you do. So so he's saying to a guy he's arguing with in the comments that we're like crazy. Then it goes on. Well, they do. They're called the Bilderberg Group. Look it up. They had a meeting in my hometown here in Ottawa, Canada, a while back. It was reported on the local news, CTV, I think. I doubt you'll find any coverage of the meeting in American media, but you can probably find it on YouTube. The most notable attendees were David Rockefeller, Queen Beatrice of the Netherlands. I wonder what they're talking about. And he goes on. No one is denying their existence, and it may look strange, shady, weird, whatever. But not knowing what they are talking about does not give us any right to insert our own projections. Problem with conspiracy theorists is that not knowing drives them to their own conclusions based on whether ideas, notions they have brewing in their heads. It is a dangerous and twisted approach to life problems. Now, you just read from their own press releases what they are behind closed doors discussing, but their own press release, global government, central banks taking over and running things, uh, na nation states not being able to say no, calling it global government, calling it new world order. And we go, they're announcing new world order. Look, we sued and got the SPP documents. It says they're taking over our freedoms and carbon tax, and they just say it doesn't exist. And you go, but it, it's declassified. It, it, it does. They're... I mean, I'll never forget, I keep going back to this, two years ago, Ron Paul's running for president, he just started a year and a half ago, whatever, CNN and other channels saying, Ron Paul's crazy, he believes in something called a Napa Superhighway and a Trans-Texas Corridor, and I remember him laughing at Ron Paul on CNN, and somebody put a compilation video together of CNN, Fox, CNBC saying he was crazy, I live in Texas with the NAFTA Highway, Trans-Texas Corridor billboards up, and it being announced, and... I'd go to movies, and they have trailers at the start paid for by the government about the NAFTA superhighway. I mean, this is some type of psych warfare game they play. Like, I had Psychology Today call me, and it was like, so you believe there's a Bilderberg group? And I was like, well, no, I mean, you, you know one exists, right? And the, and the psychiatrist would just kind of go, or psychologist, right in form would just go, Mm, could please continue. And I'd say, no, wait a minute. Let's not play these little high and mighty God games where where you just say, now you think that exists? And he goes, well, let me ask you another. Are they coming to get you? See, it's all about how I'm this paranoid. Meanwhile, foreign banks openly have hijacked us, sucking us dry. They're openly announcing world government. And, and, and it's like the general public that's committed to the lie. For decades, they said none of this existed. So even as this is being announced, it exists and is happening, they can't go back and say they were conned and lied to. They have to say, 
In fact, I have a lot of fake conservatives calling me and emailing me, and I hear it on talk radio, that 